वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस लेसन इज पार्ट टू ऑफ सेंटेंस एरर्स व्हिच इज कॉल्ड कॉमा स्क्वायर्स बिफोर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस लेसन व्हिच इज कॉमा स्क्वायर्स लेट अस रिमाइंड यू अबाउट द प्रीवियस लेसन व्हिच इज सेंटेंस एरर द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंस एरर रन ऑन और क्यू सेंटेंस इट कैन बी जस्ट फॉर्मड बाय Uh, two independent clauses cannot be separated or get without without comma no comma between two main clauses so that kind of error is sentence error that kind of error is sentence error so we have just seen some of the common ways of correcting that sentence error especially for run on sentence so put a period between the two main clauses and the second sentence begins with capital letter and use coordinating conjunction and before Uh, the cardiac congestion put a, uh, a comma these are some of the uh, two ways of correcting run on sentence so this lesson is comma splice as we understand from the name comma splice two mean clauses or which is separated by a comma but that's the wrong use of comma so comma splice by in, in a short means wrong use of comma or uh, two mean clauses can be separated by a comma but the sentence doesn't read such kind of punctuation mark so it makes the sentence errors because uh, no need to put a comma between two main clauses because the two main clauses stand by themselves and it, they have meaning yes so no 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 need to just insert a kind of punctuation mark especially for the comma because comma has some important purposes so this is not the function of comma to separate two main clauses it mean so from this extent we are going to just deal some questions regarding comma splice so the first one is identify the kind of errors and how can we correct that sentence errors let's come to the examples john was an anxious about his debt and he decided to cancel it look here john was an anxious about his debt comma he decided to cancel it we have just here two main clauses these two main clauses can be separated with, with a comma but no need to use a comma here And instead of using a comma we had better use any other different kinds of punctuation mark so this sentence doesn't have a meaning so to make a meaning we are going to just correct this sentence in the right way so the first way of correcting this sentence is we can just put a comma after the coordinating conjunction and this is the right way one which means use the coordinating conjunction and insert a comma between the coordinating conjunction so we are going to carry this wrong sentence error in the right way so john was anxious about his debt comma and he decided to cancel it this is absolutely right sentence so one way of correcting this comma twice is on this way the second example here we have also another way of correcting this comma twice john was anxious about his debt for the stock he did, he decided to cancel it So he did the correct right. We have the, the two main clauses here. John was an anxious about his debt for the stock. He decided to cancel it. Yes, and here is uh, after the end of the first sentence, we put a period, and the second sentence begins with capital letter. So this is the second way of correcting comma splice. So instead of using a comma, we can just put a period to at the end of the first sentence. This is the second way of correcting. and the other one jones and agjes about the debt and he decided to cancel it here between the two the two, the two main clauses we insert a card kind of subordinating conjunction so until subordinating conjunction so we can just get this meaning the full sentence this is also the third way of correcting fuse was called comma spy the fourth one here Jonas and Agnes about his death semicolon he decided to cancel it here semicolon is another option another ways of correcting this comma split so these are the four ways of correcting any sentence error especially a sentence error which is formed by wrong uses of comma second example here my mom made dinner comma i ate at home full stop We have also seen here two independent clauses here. My mom made dinner. One independent clause, and the other one, I ate at home. Another independent clause here. So here we can just correct on this way. One is my mom made dinner. Full stop. I ate at home. Right sentence because we have two independent clauses here. So we can put a period between the two independent sentences. So the sentence is meaning here. 
My mom made dinner, so um, I ate at home. So uh, before four, this is uh, coordinating conjunction. So because the second sentence is the result of the first one, so I can insert this result word, result coordinating conjunction. And before the coordinating conjunction, we put a comma here. So here, my mom made dinner, so I, um, I ate at home. So the first and the second sentence are the same meaning. So this is the second way. The third one, my mom made dinner, semicolon, at home, because the second is relevant with the first sentence, so there is a semicolon between the two clauses. So this is the, the third way of correcting these commas twice. And the last one is, my mom made dinner, consequently, I ate uh, at home here is semicolon with a kind of supporting conjunction because the second is the result of the first one. So this is also the fourth ways of correcting any comma splice sentence. And the fourth one, the third example here, I enjoy dancing a lot, comma, I didn't have time to do more here. The problem is comma splice because as I told you before, there is comma between the two independent clause. This Position of using comma is wrong. It makes the sentence incomplete. It makes the sentence meaningless. We cannot get anything from this sentence. So what we, we do first is we are able to carry this sentence in the right expression, in the right way. So readers can understand what the sentence is for here. So the first one is we can just put a period between the two clauses, right? And the second one, we can put a comma between the coordinating conjunction or to another way. And the third one, we can put a semicolon between the two independent colors, that's true. And the fourth one is, we can both uh, put subordination conjunctions between the two independent clauses. These are the four ways of creating this comma spies. So, uh, these are some of the examples of correcting comma spies. Ways of correcting, run or, or fused or comma spies. How can we create it, this sentence errors? How can we make this sentence errors meaningful? One is put a period at the end of the first clause and the second sentence begins with capital letter. One way of correcting. Second one, we can also just put a comma and before the coordinating conjunction, this also another way of correcting comma splice or fused sentence. The third one, we can also put a kind of semicolon or semicolon between the two clauses if the second clause is relevant or is related with the first clause, semicolon is appropriate here. And the other one, we can just put a kind of subordinate conjunction between the two clauses. These are the four ways of creating fused sentence or comma splice. This is not always mandatory to use all the four ways. Sometimes, some sentences may not need any kind of supporting conjunction, or some sentences may not need any kind of semicolon. So the best option, the best way, so we can just use two of the ways of creating any sentence errors, especially for run or or comma squares. So we are not obliged to use all the four ways because some sentences may not need any kind of semicolon, or some sentences may not need any kind of supporting conjunction. So we are better use the first two ways of creating this sentence errors, it means. These are the four ways of correcting, and also what is sentence, what sentence errors, what run on sentence, and what comma splice. What difference is between run or fused or comma splice, and how can we correct them? And readers can understand using this strategy of sentence errors. These are questions. Correct the comma splices and few sentences below. Yes, these are the five questions, and how can we correct these five sentences using the strategies or ways of correcting that sentence is a result. I gave you an example before. Let's come to the first. I like cats. I hate dogs. So there is two independent sentences here. I like cats, what? And I hate dogs, another independent clause. These two independent clause can be separated with a comma. So, so this is comma split. The problem is comma split. The problem is comma split because there is a comma between the two independent sentences. If we understand the problem, the sentence error type is here, how can we correct this sentence? One, I like cats for the stop. I hate dogs one way. Yes, I like cats, but I hate dogs. This is another way. 
This another way. So these are the two ways of creating for the first questions. Do the rest question by yourself and evaluate how much you understand these sentence errors. And the answers are on the next page and you are going to just cross match with your own experience with the correct sentence that I gave you before. This all about sentence errors. The next sentence or the next lesson will be fragmented. Thank you.